Take way. Chill. <laughs> Your encouraging word of the day comes from <laughs> Isaiah 41:10. And it says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your Elohim, your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I, I think there's a verse somewhere, too, where somebody got yanked up by the hair, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how beautiful is this? Fear not. It's a commandment to not be afraid. There are plenty of things out there that we could be fearful of. Um, right now, there's a global pandemic going on and coronavirus. It's fine to be watchful and mindful and cautious, but fearing is not what we should be. Mm -hmm. We should never be fearful. And it's okay to be prepared because it says in Proverbs that the cautious man foresees danger or sees evil coming and prepares the fool does nothing and suffers the consequences. That's Proverbs 22 verse 3. It's also in another uh, verse. So it's not operating in fear when you're operating in wisdom. So when we look at him saying, don't be dismayed, that's telling us, don't be discouraged, don't be downcast. Don't allow depression to set in. Don't get overwhelmed by all the lamestream media hype and la, da, 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 da. shut it off. Shut it off and put your trust not in what the media is telling you, but what the Creator is telling you in His eternal Word. Remember that we're supposed to keep our mind meditating and fixed upon Him because He's what's righteous and true and just and good. So He'll strengthen us. That verse tells us He's going to strengthen you. So may you be strengthened today in your faith. He also says He'll help us. That's Ezer. He'll be our Ezer. A rescuer, like an armor bearer, a shield. And He says He'll uphold us. So, if your faith has taken a nosedive and you feel like you've fallen, be encouraged today that He's still your God and He's still in control. And if you feel like you're drowning and overwhelmed, what did that verse say? That he'll hold you up. He'll pull you up above those waters that are making you feel like this is just too overwhelming. No fear, no Yahweh. And you will be set and full of shalom and peace. The only thing we should fear is Yahweh. And that's a good, holy, and just fear that, hey, if I don't behave when daddy gets home, <laughs> when daddy comes, when, when judgment time comes around, then I'm going to have something to answer for. So be encouraged today. Be blessed and may Father protect you and keep your family in good health. And perfect peace throughout this storm. Seneco Kakona.